Welcome back to 843 TV. We're here now with Dr. Jenna Chanowski. She is the assistant professor in biology. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing good. So what kind of research is available here for students as a biology major? We have a lot of research. We're trying to really vamp up the biology research program. We have things in, there are two concentrations. One is biomedical field, which is part of what I do. And then there's also the ecology and evolution concentration. So we work with fiddler crabs. We work with um, the salt marshes that are around here. We, we work with dolphins. Um, we have a neurobiology program with us. Um, I work with lizards and <laughs> eyeballs. It's, I would think with all of the little things we have running around that are yeah. important to our ecosystem, you have plenty to look at. So we have um, a very strong chemistry department. So we have one professor who works on Chagas disease and trying to help with um, the, the chemicals that are necessary for drug delivery. So we have a lot of a variety from ecology, what we see around us, the trees, the swamps, and how conservation is happening, all the way to the medical field. Awesome. So, uh, Can you talk a little bit more about your research? So my specific research is on eye developments, kind of interesting. I got into it because I really wanted to just help people in the medical field, but I needed to pick an organ. And so, <laughs> you know, we all look at each other. Mm -hmm. I see you. And uh, so I work <laughs> on the genetic diseases of eyes. So people that are born that have um, some sort of genetic component that stops them from being able to see. And so I work on one, the development of the eye itself, not only in humans, but in around all our critters around us. So I work on turtles and snakes and other things cool like that. But the biomedical side of it is I like to try to understand how the genetic component affects our eyesight and also how we can fix that in the future in both um, children and adults. So I'm working specifically in uh, stem cell therapy with eye it's development. It's come a long way. It has come a long <laughs> way, but there's so much more to do. And I'm glad because... Well, no, I'm not glad, but that's what you I get to do. You have plenty to I have, researching. There's so much to do. There's so much to do. And I need USCB, I need the students to help me figure it all out. Oh, that's an excellent segue because my question was, how can students get involved in the research with you or research in general at USCB? Yeah, students can get involved specifically with me as well as any of the other biology professors that do research here. So if they're more interested in like forestry and conservation, salt marshes, things like that, we have um, a couple of professors that work specifically in those concentrations and they all have research programs. So we do have um, classes that you can take and get credit to actually do um, research with the professors. Um, you can be paid if you have been with the professor long enough, mm -hmm. perhaps, um, sometimes summer, summer paid jobs. And then, so we have courses, paid jobs, and then also you can just volunteer. So there's a lot of research going on um, actively right now, and any student can just come up and be like, knock on the door, hey, <laughs> I'm interested in going to medical school or I'm interested in being a forest ranger what does that entail and can I get involved in your projects? And we can, we definitely have an open door policy. Come on in, we'd love to talk about our research. I mean, every scientist loves to talk about their research. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we'd love to talk to the students and bring them in and hope to bring new scientists into the world. Yeah. Very cool. So speaking about, uh, talking about students knocking on the door and expressing their interest and in, in, in their ambitions, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, some biology students may be interested in going to medical school. Yeah. Some may be interested in going out on the boat and working for, you know, NOAA or whoever it may yes. be. Um, and for those prospective students who may be watching, how does the research programs available at USCB help them prepare for their ambitions, whether that be graduate school in the medical field or biology, uh, you know, science research field or, or a professional job in that um, area? Right. So our programs help a lot with getting into those future graduate programs and or internships at places like um, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, mm -hmm. things like that. Because not only do we have the courses, like we have neurobiology, cell biology, um, 
uh, ichthyology, if you wanted to get into fisheries. We have a lot of the courses, but the research is where it's happening. Okay. You, everybody wants an intern that has research experience. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want someone that's green, you don't know right. if they know how to work around a lab, mm -hmm. and we provide that. We have a lot of the professors who, they all have their own labs, bring in the students, get the experience, and put that on your resume, right. and on your applications to the medical community or the conservation community, and they love that. So yeah, I mean, functionally, when you're putting your resume together, can you say, you know, I have X amount of hours in this research area, or how do, how do you usually present that to, you know, to, to a job seeker? You would want to put mm -hmm. specifically, like, what you're doing. The right. hours, you're gonna be working so many hours. <laughs> like, you know, 30 mm -hmm. hours doesn't really mean as much, because you never know what you do in an hour. Right. It's, right. I worked as, a lab technician in this person's lab, mm -hmm. you know, do a little name dropping, that's okay. Sure. Well, to peel another layer off of it, not only for college students who are already in that game, but say for high school students, mm -hmm. particularly my stepson, who loves that kind of thing, but doesn't really know which direction he wants to go. Yes. How, how do you push that? How do you kind of hook them and get them focused in on something? I mean, do you talk to them directly? Is there someone here that would kind of reach out to that? How do you transition from that kind of wanderlust high school student <laughs> to focus? Well, we would probably do that um, in the Bio 1 class. So in Bio 1, you hit both ecology evolution and the biomedical sciences. And then what they like to do, and then they see all of us professors, and then they, we can communicate with them at that time. Very cool. So just start in bio 101 and then yeah. kind of grows See from there. See what you like at that there. point. Yeah. Wonderful. Very cool. Jenna, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And thank you for watching 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.